Atomic theory from Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavata states that the Paramanas never join each other, only by coming close together they produce an illusion of a solid matter, which has specific properties. It is now accepted by the science that an atom of an element has some specific properties but its subatomic particles have no such properties. It is now proved by the science that the subatomic particles are not really joined to each other, they are far away from each other. Proton of an atom is at a distance of 40,000 times the diameter of it from its electron. Bhagavata Purana has correlated the matter with the time, just like the space-time continuum of the modern science. Time is unmanifested, avyakta, but it enjoys the manifest world, vyaktabhuk. It comes into existence in a special way, so it is called as vibhu. The finest unit of time is named as paramanu, which equals to a millionth of a second. To be precise, a paramanu of time is 0.000032 seconds, according to the Bhagavata. The theory of the paramanus proposed by the Bhagavata is now accepted by the modern science, but the paramimahan is not yet accepted by the science. A paramanu keeps behind something, if broken, but the paramimahan will not keep anything behind, except itself. That unique thing is called as Kavalya which is the unique, ultimate reality. Vishnu Sahasaranama written in the Shanti Parva of the Mahabharata gives the meaning of Vishnu as, Vipshti Vyapnoti Iti Vishna, that which pervades everywhere is Vishnu. It is known that atoms don't exist independently and they exist as molecules, which are spread everywhere to make up the matter appear in different shapes and forms. Shiva is described in Tantra books as the one who is in Anupuravastiti. In pre-atomic stage, an unstable atom has an excess electron or proton and this means, Shiva exists in the form of atomic energy which flows, and these atoms make up molecules, which ultimately appears like matter. This clearly explains the line Sivaya Vishnu Rupaya, Shiva Rupaya Vishnav Sivaska Hurdayam Vishnu, Vishnaska Hurdayam Sivaha. Ancient literature like Lakshmi Tantra also suggests that Paramatma, the super soul in the heart of everyone through whom all avatars come to material universe, is lying on that milk ocean. So Paramatma is in every atom and heart of all souls in 840-0000 kinds of material bodies, with two souls in each heart called Jivatma and Paramatma. Sage Kunad, 600 BC, is recognized as the founder of atomic theory, and classified all the objects of creation into nine elements, earth, water, light, or fire, wind, ether, time, space, mind and soul. He stated that every object in creation is made of atoms that in turn connect with each other to form molecules nearly 2,500 years before John Dalton. Further, Kunnut described the dimension and motion of atoms, and the chemical reaction with one another. These Indian ideas about atom and atomic physics could have been transmitted to the West during the contacts created between India and West by the invasion of Alexander. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel.